Hi guys, welcome to Factorio. I just thought I'd record a uh, little tip here, which uh, I haven't seen anyone else doing. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you do find this useful. So this tip is just around monitoring of remote outposts. So you can see here that when I hover over the electric pole, we've got a signal coming down the line um, that's a red number one, and it's going up. Now, um, this is this is really useful for monitoring, for example, on oil outposts to see how much oil is waiting the reserves. Um, so, for example, here right now, it's saying one has got 162. So, the first part of the first part of the setup for this is any power poles that you want this visible on need to be hooked up via circuit conditions. So, to do that, we'll just do it from this uh, substation as an example. You just take out your wire. Uh, click on the power pole and then click on the power pole to link it up. So you have to run these. Um, if you're using a mod like file to actually transition your or to actually build your, your network, you can have it hook up the wires for you, but you can just do it manually like I did there. So we'll go down and have a look at what the setup is down at the outpost and it's really not all that complicated. So this is the this little tiny setup I've done here. Uh, so all I've got is our storage tank. We have a red wire running from the storage tank and you can use green, it doesn't really matter, running into an arithmetic combinator. And uh, if we look at the input signals there, you'll see that it's got uh, it's got a number of oil and it's outputting a signal. So to set this up, uh, you, to set this up, we just set the input. Actually, we'll, we'll go and do it. I've got this one set up over here so we can actually go and set this up. So if we uh, run some power over to this, and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll pretend this is our outpost number two. So we'll put down an arithmetic com combinator and we'll hook this up to the line like so. And then of course this needs to be hooked up all the way back. So now we can actually see the existing signals on those power lines. Um, if for good measure, it's, it's, you know, it does help to have a green wire hooked up as well because they actually uh, show up a little bit differently. Um, I just realized that's around the wrong way, so we'll put that back down. So we need to hook up the tank onto the bottom of the arithmetic combinator. And then the out, so this, this is actually the input side on its kind of default orientation. Um, so that the other side is the output. So that's our, that's our input. And then we hook the output. So you, it actually matters which side you click on. So we hook up the output onto our power pole. All right, so now we can see uh, it's actually getting an input signal already because we've got it hooked up just to the one thing. But uh, if you've got more than one tank, you may want to actually set this up. So all I do is go select the input as crude oil and uh, set the uh, arithmetic function to plus. And then for output, you just go into output, click on signals, and then basically pick a number for your outpost. So we'll set this to two. Right, and that's all there is to it. Now, if we look at this power pole, we're seeing a one and a two. And if we kind of go down the line, you'll see that carries on everywhere. Um, so you can see from the signals we have to choose from, you've got zero all the way through to F. So you've got, uh, you know, 16 to choose from there. But you can also then, uh, if you don't want to use uh, red, red wire, for example. So if we just uh, quickly set this up again. But then if we hook up green wire instead, and uh, we'll just get this set up again. So oil and outputting two, you'll see that they've actually got a different color. So we've actually got a green number two now instead of a red. So because you've got the two different colors to choose from, you can actually have up to 32 outposts listed this way. Um, and that's that's kind of all there is to it. Um, you can get a little bit more complicated. So if you wanted to, uh, for example, count the number of crude barrels, um, if I go and grab, uh, just bear with me. If I find what I'm looking for here. So if we grab, uh, not empty barrels. There we go, full barrels. So if I grab a stack of those and then grab uh, a couple of chests, so we'll grab a couple of smart chests. So if we put down a smart chest and then uh, throw some barrels in there, 
Now we know that a crude oil barrel holds 25 oil. We can tell that because if we go into the recipe, right, filled crude oil takes in 25 crude oil and empty gives you back 25 crude oil. So we can then set up a little bit more uh, logic here. So rather than just doing that, I'll take this out just to clear the wires. We can put down uh, two different uh, combinators and the first one here can do it a uh, multiply. So we can do crude oil barrel times 25 and output that as a signal crude oil. And then this one, we just set to the same thing we did before. So an input and then an output as two. And then if we hook up the output, so that's the top side into the input on the bottom here, and then put the hook up the barrel as well, I'll hook up the, uh, the the storage. And then I hook up the input on this one. I'll use the green wire just so it's it's kind of obvious up to that smart chest. And then we'll use the green wire again to hook it up to the power pole. Now you'll see uh, if I look here, we've got you know 270 ish oil, but if I look here, we've got an we've got a output signal of two, 525 because it's actually counting the 250 that we've got here. So this way you can actually get a complete sum of however much oil you have at a particular outpost. And uh, then you can see that is actually going back onto the line as we expect. So I hope you found that useful. It's a, it's a really simple trick, um, but not something that uh, seems to be all that well known, um, but very, very useful just to give you some basic monitoring of you know what's at your outposts. So yeah. I hope it was useful and uh, until next time, have a good one.